Dear friends, myself Inayat. Today I am going to show you how to use show annotation command or use and arrays command, usually call, calling as use and arrays command. For that, I have opened one part use and arrays part and as well drawing. This command is very useful in creating 2D drawing in Creo 3.0. Yeah. First, I will show you how to use show and arrays command. Go to annotation, show model annotation. Here, show model annotation command is appears. In this, you can find six sub tabs. This is this used for show model dimensions geometric tolerance nodes surface finish m annotation then again datums <coughs> here sh show model annotation go for dimensions these dimensions are the derived dimensions from the model so uh, where in which view you want to show the dimensions you just go and click on the dimension on the um, view it will show the dimensions which are associated with the model or part in 3d part here the dimensions which are appearing in a dark red colors if you click or hold on this one it will show green color if you want to show this dimension just go and click on this one it will become a strong dimension otherwise here you can use which dimensions you want to show here one more option is there if you want to show all dimensions which are associated to this particular view it will show if you don't want array or disappears if you use this command so here i will show one or two dimensions which are uh, useful for this part with respect to this dimension uh, with uh, this view just I'm going to click here one and two dimensions go go for apply then it's cancel see you can see the dimensions displayed on the dimension very quickly the, uh, this is where uh, the quick method of creating dimi uh, drawings in the Creo parametric 3.0 apart from this uh, here you can have the options like that click right mouse button mouse button it will show the properties of the uh, dimensions associated with this view okay if you want to erase this uh, dimensions again go to dimension show otherwise you go here dimension if you want to erase or delete you can use go to erase and or delete here one thing is uh, you can erase or delete this dimension what is the difference between erase and delete if you go to erase it will disappear from the screen or from the view and you can you again use this if whenever you want see if just i did this erase and now i'm going to un erase it will be this uh, displaying if you use the same as a delete it forever it will be deleted I will show delete See, this uh, dimension is disappear and it will uh, from the drawing tree also it is disappeared so this uh, this is about the how to show the dimensions uh, in the drawing from the um, derived uh, dimensions from the model or part or 3d part apart from this in this um, in this command i will i'm going to show you how to use uh, geometric tolerance nodes surface finish uh, surface finish and um, model symbols and uh, axis or uh, datums mm -hmm. for that i'm using this one as a uh, model i'm going to use here in this uh, first go to annotation 
you uh, use the view or uh, in which view you want to show like front top right back bottom or anything any view uh, which is customized by you uh, here uh, i will i'm going to show you uh, datum target annotation why i am using this datum target uh, datum target annotation means uh, to use the geometric tolerance this is the geometric tolerance dialog box i will uh, uh, explain you later about this mm -hmm. uh, before that we uh, we will add the datum target annotation feature click on the datum target <coughs> here here uh, it will ask a uh, set datum tag or existing annotations uh, if you have any existing annotation give the reference of that one otherwise set a datum tag datum tag I, I am using set a datum tag so click ok the set datum tag dialog box will appear uh, first you need to give the name of the datum so you can use the datum reference or geometric reference here i am using the geometric reference so go and click on reference where you want to add the datum target where you okay then you go to it will ask pick uh, where you want to place go and pick uh, some place where you want to add this one I'm going to use this surface or okay, okay. Uh, but go here just I'm going to play f uh, it, it will show okay click ok so this uh, yeah uh, datum target is uh, datum is uh, displaying here um, create ok ok this is all about the datum target so this datum target i am using the uh, giving the reference uh, of the this uh, larger od with reference to the smaller od for the concentric or uh, uh, we can use uh, cylindricity uh, um, tolerance to give that uh, cylindricity tolerance uh, references here uh, to add the geometric tolerance go to geometric tolerance and uh, first you need to select uh, references which uh, from which uh, reference you need to be give the tolerance to the uh, your desired od mm -hmm. uh, here the you can find the primary secondary and tertiary uh, datum are there and now i am using here basic uh, or primary uh, datum only one datum i have created for demo purpose here you can use the symbols uh, like uh, MMC or LMC symbols according to your uh, applications. Okay. Next uh, tolerance value. Here you can change the uh, tolerance value according to your need or your applications. And if you want here also you can add the symbols uh, MMC, uh, RFS, RFS no symbol, uh, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to leave like this only that I'm thinking. and model reference you need to here select uh, References here uh, various options are there edge axis ref surface feature data entity. I'm going to use surface um, Then with surface I'm using the larger OD as a surface which should be cylind uh, maintain cylindricity according uh, cylindricity with respect to the smaller od so i'm going to select this one and uh, here you need to uh, specify the how you want to display the uh, g tall or uh, geometric tolerance on your model dimension with leader dan tangent leader normal leader or other g tall normal uh, tall like option I'm using here with the leader it will ask again uh, select the or specify the uh, where you want to show this okay then click the middle button middle button the uh, it will show that uh, 0 0.01 tolerance uh, with respect to the with respect to the datum a which is smaller od the smaller od is uh, uh, related to the larger od uh, can vary uh, 0 0.01 with respect to the smaller OD 
or this is uh, give the okay this is all about your uh, GTOL display on the model on the model apart from this you can uh, use this option uh, to display the any nodes or surface finishes uh, of the um, specified uh, manufacturing or anything uh, as per your requirement here you can find the leader nodes option here in this one uh, you can find various option unattached node on the on on item node or tangent leader node normal leader node or with leader node so i'm going to show you leader node just add here and uh, specify where you want to want to add the note and click on the middle button it will ask uh, uh, to mention the um, uh, text what you needed surface or glossy finish or something whatever notes you want to add finish or something you write uh, required knurling knurling required or something anything you just click enter or press the middle button this one about your your text to display on the by using the model annotation and again one more option i will show you a surface finish how to use the surface finish here go to the surface finish select the surface here only standard is model reference select the model which model you want to show the surface finish this again you click on this one and uh, it will ask this surfaces to be where to place press the middle button so it is showing the your surface finish symbol go to ok ok just I am going to show you I so by using model annotation option you can use uh, this model annotation you can use in model or part or uh, in the drawing the same option you can use but uh, by the model or by part if you are uh, uh, specifying the model annotation it's i feel it's uh, very easy as compared to the in drawing okay. so so these model annotation model annotations which are associated with the model can be shown easily on the drawing without uh, much effort or you can save much time this option is same go to annotation show model annotation mm, click on the show model annotation tab uh, first i will go uh, show you uh, datum datum just go and click on the view where you want to show the your datums click here it's showing the so click on here apply apply okay this where here we have only one datum uh, which i am going to show you otherwise if you want to show any axis you can show the axis also go apply again come to the i don't have anything surface finishes i have one surface finishing symbol which uh, i specified in the model go to apply again and notes also we have one note okay click okay apply and gtol also i specified one gtol here okay apply and dimensions whichever dimensions you want to display you can otherwise you can click directly here okay apply pencil see how quick we can uh, display the model annotations uh, from which are derived from the model this all about how to use show model and annotation command if you have any doubt uh, regarding this uh, write on or in comments uh, i will try to solve all your problems um, so if you like this video please subscribe my channel or like it 
okay so th so that i can give you uh, videos like this in future so i'm going to give uh, videos from uh, from starting to end of the all uh, tutorials of the pdc creo 3